all right hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Deltavia, and in today's video i am going to attempt to create a baby budget because i am in my third trimester and we have been doing some research on what we can expect to pay in the first year um so disclaimer this is just an estimate of course we are first time soon to be parents and we have no idea what the true cost will ultimately be. But so far I've had a healthy pregnancy and we have had to pay very little out of pocket um, really due to my health insurance that I have through my job. I also have a flexible spending account and a baby sinking fund, which you've seen in other videos. So we will, of course, use those to cover certain expenses such as co-pays and medical supplies. So this is the baby budget. OOP means out of pocket year one. I'm due in April of this year. So this is going to be from April 2021 to April 2020. Two. some other things I want to point out so um, because I am fully remote currently and for the foreseeable future we are not budgeting for child care <laughs> now this may or may not be a smart idea but the plan is because I'm working from home we won't need to spend on child care I have the ability to um, do some multitasking. I'm very fortunate in that way. Um, we will, however, budget for babysitters, um, and that will that will show up under our miscellaneous for those times, of course, when we need a sitter, we may want to go out or have to travel for whatever reason. I also have paid parental leave through my job. This is very new. It literally was implemented this year, so I'm very fortunate and blessed. So I don't expect any loss of income i also have long-term disability if i were to take additional time off i have i think 12 weeks of paid parental leave um another thing i'm also <laughs> expecting to resume consulting um as you've seen in my other videos i do consult um, part-time so the plan will be to resume doing that at some point during those 12 weeks just to have a little extra income coming in and then um, some other things I will explain as we get into this budget. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first expense that I'm going to put on here that I actually know about. Let me actually do my line first. Make this a little neat for y'all. Um, I hope this video is helpful for any expecting parents out there new parents and definitely get me together <laughs> if i'm like way off with some of these numbers um, please share how much you approximately spent if you track that for your first year um, so the first expense is our doula um, we did um, retain a doula i guess um, pay for a doula since my first trimester and so that unfortunately is not covered by my insurance i do know some insurance plans do cover doulas but not mine so we're paying 1200 out of pocket and that does include um in-person and virtual visits appointment supports um educational materials breastfeeding education and basically just being on call for whatever questions concerns my doula is also a nurse so that's kind of nice because she has that extra background for those who don't know doulas are kind of like um, just a support person to provide education and empowerment to parents um, to help navigate the pre and postnatal care they can um, some people just hire them for like postnatal and breastfeeding some people hire them for the whole process which we did and they they kind of help you to be able to advocate for yourself and i think this is especially important for black and brown moms so i was very adamant about getting a doula and i was willing to pay whatever i needed to pay if you're looking for a doula i would go to like the i think there's like a doula association website and that's where we went and found somebody local in michigan it's a it's a black woman and she has been great so far so that's the expected expense for that 
And so far we've paid half of this because um, we're paying, I think it's quarterly. All right. The next thing that I'm going to budget for is the cost of adding my child, my baby to the health insurance and my health insurance through my employer. I looked this up and it's just under $800 to add like the full family. Right now it's just my husband and I. So I looked at the difference that it would be for the year and it's just, it's like $796. So I'm just going to round that up to 800. The next expense, um, this is totally ballparking it, but I'm going to say 1000 for medical. And this is going to include like medical supplies, any co-pays or uh, medical visits that maybe isn't covered by insurance or uh, maybe you know we use up the FSA or the flexible spending account then we would go to the medical uh, fund or medical expenses so I'm just gonna budget about a thousand dollars so yeah that's what I'm putting there and this would also include any out-of-pocket I again I when I found out I was pregnant I contacted my insurance um, company and found out all the like costs that will be associated with delivery it's pretty much covered in full but I do know I have like an out-of-pocket maximum and I have you know the dedu deductible and everything like that so I'm just gonna put a thousand here and hope that I'm close all right baby food so the plan is to breastfeed um, exclusively for the first couple months but of course as baby is being introduced to foods we want to at this point we're saying we're gonna you know make our own baby food, but you just never know. So I'm just gonna put $1,000 for that. It's still gonna increase our grocery budget either way, whether we buy like pre-made baby food or we make our own. So I'm just gonna put about $1,000 there. Diapers, <laughs> when I first did this budget, I totally left out diapers and I was like, this don't look right. So <laughs> we are doing disposable diapers. I do know you can save money if you do like the cloth diapers but we just we not them people we're not gonna do cloth diapers over here in this house so yeah we're gonna just say disposable diapers and that's what i think i found this on nerd wallet it's about a, about 500 you'll spend the first year clothing i really don't to be honest i don't expect to spend a lot on clothing let me tell you something this child <laughs> will have lots of clothing from aunts and uncles and grandparents being the first grandchild on my side and the second on my husband's side um already we have a ton of baby clothes we have a ton of baby items because uh, people are excited you know and they're already like we already have a crib we already have a stroller we already have a bassinet we already have i got my breast pump through my insurance so we're, we're really, really blessed. So we already have a lot of things. So I don't, I don't think we're going to be spending too much on clothing. All right. College savings. Let me make sure I spell this right. <laughs> so again, I went to nerd wallet and I fought, I found this estimate of $3,000. So I'm just, that sounds about right. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm not, I'm going to put childcare as a line item but like I said like I don't expect any daycare expenses or anything like that because I will be at least for the first year I know I will be remote fully remote and then just like toys or nursery related items whatever we could possibly need in addition to what we already have I'm just gonna put 300 like I said we have a lot of stuff already and then finally, this miscellaneous is really just to catch whatever I may have forgotten or overlooked um, through my research and conversations with other parents. So I'm just putting a thousand dollars that could cover ba a babysitter when we need one. That could cover uh, any expenses that may come up that you know I'm not thinking about at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and add all of this up and see what the first year is, est I'm estimating, <laughs> this has been in the first year. So this I know is 1,200, but in then 800, 1,000, another 1,000, 500, 100, 3,000, 300, and then 1,000. So that puts us at 8,900 
which I mean, it kind of seems right based on what I saw on Nerd Wallet. Again, because we don't have childcare, which is one of the most, um, one of the biggest expenses for a lot of parents. Um, we, we, we should be okay, but we'll see. We'll see how all of that kind of plays out and everything. Yeah, so this is kind of my first year baby budget. Let me know if you have feedback for me, things that I should consider. Um, if you're expecting and you created a baby budget and you have a video, please link it so I can check it out. I also meant to show my little quotes for this and that is family and friends are hidden treasures seek them and enjoy their riches so that is the quote and this is our budget for a little baby z baby girl that is coming in april i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for supporting watching subscribing sharing all of that jazz if you love my content let me know let me know down below in the comments hit that subscribe button also let me know if you have a video so i can support you and your channel thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye